Hi guys, Jay Walker here, and today we're at the launch of the new BMW 4 Series. I finally got to see the controversial grill in person. I'll tell you my thoughts later. So, is it worth your money? Let's find out. Okay, so this is the new BMW 4 Series. This has to be BMW's most controversial design in a very long time. Um, we'll talk about the design later. For now, let's talk about the details. So here in the Philippines, we'll get two variants, the 420i and the 420i M Sport. Both will get the same engine. They'll both get BMW's B48 engine which is a 2.0-liter, 4-cylinder, turbocharged engine. It should produce 184 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. It's the same engine that you get on the 520i. And the 520i felt pretty quick when I test drove it. And that was a large 4-door sedan. The 4 Series is a much smaller and lighter 2-door coupe. So in theory, it should feel more agile. The engine is coupled to an 8-speed torque converter transmission. The M Sport variant will get more aggressive aero. It'll get different front and rear bumpers, which are more aggressively styled. It'll get a ducktail spoiler, more aggressive side skirts, and bigger wheels. The new 4 Series is larger than the outgoing model. It is 128mm longer, 27mm wider, and 41mm taller. The car is 57mm lower than the 3 Series. So the 420i looks like a car that you drive on the weekends for fun. But it's fuel efficient enough that you can use it as a daily driver. It can do 13.89 KPL in the city, 20 KPL on the highway, and 17.24 combined. Like most BMWs, it comes with 5 years or 200,000 kilometers of warranty, whichever comes first. Okay, so this is the interior of the M Sport, and the first thing that you notice is uh, the seats, man, they feel very low. They hug your body really well. And you have this uh, aluminum accent here. Is it aluminum? I don't know, but it looks good. It looks nice. Look at the lumbar support here, man. That's, that's nice. Am I gonna fit here? Let's see. Oh. Okay, so I fit. It's actually surprisingly comfortable here. Over here I have uh, two air convents. And you get um a foldable armrest with two cup holders. Headroom is... Well, if I sit back straight, my head hits the roof. But... Uh, if I slouch like this, it's... It's okay. The interior looks pretty similar to the interior of the 3 Series. Which makes sense since the 4 Series really is a 3 Series that has two fewer doors. Uh, and here you get amenities like an 8.8 .8 inch screen and it now has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It has a 5.5 inch digital cluster. Um, it has parking assistant which allows you to automatically park the car. It can do parallel and perpendicular parking. The M Sport gets Vernasca leather. The regular 420i only gets Sansatec leather which is another word for synthetic leather. 
the M Sport also gets aluminum accents instead of the gloss black accents of the 420i. And the M Sport variant gets sport seats, which are a lot more comfortable and offer a lot more bolstering. The 420i will sell for 3.9 million pesos, which I think is a pretty attractive price for a two-door sports coupe from BMW. The M Sport variant will sell for 4.5 million pesos. Anyway, with that out of the way, Let's talk about the elephant in the room. So if you've been subscribed for a while, you probably know that I'm a BMW enthusiast. I love BMW's designs, but I'd have to say that I wasn't a fan of the new grills when I first saw them in photos. But now that I've seen it in person, I think it's starting to grow on me. It does look better in person than it does in photos. Also because it's been out for a while, my eyes have been desensitized to the grill. Um, it used to shock me, <laughs> it doesn't shock me anymore. So while I can say that I don't hate the grills anymore, I think I may need more time before I can actually say that I love them. What I didn't expect to love though were the softer lines on the sides of the car. I love the straight upswept lines on the sides of the E90 and the F30. So I was disappointed to see that line softened on the new 4 Series, at least when I first saw it in photos. But now that I've seen it in person, I think it works better. The car looks more fluid. Uh, it looks sexier, I think. And also it now has a more pronounced tip, which gives it a more sporty appearance. Overall, whether it looks more attractive than the previous generation is debatable, but I think it definitely looks more exotic now. By the way, the launch of the 4 Series was held at RSA Motors Green Hills, which is BMW's newest and possibly biggest dealership in the country, at least among those that I've seen. It's not yet open, but it should open soon. So let me give you a virtual tour so you know what to expect if you ever visit them in the future. So over there is the new 7 Series. That is the X3M. And over here you have a cafe. A lounge area. So let's check out the ground floor. So this is the ground floor of RSA Motors, Greenhouse. Let me show you around. So over here we have some merch, some shirts, and you have another cafe. And over here we have some bikes. There's a 2 series, uh, 5 series. That is the X3, and this is the X5. I'm about to drive this. And that over there is the Z4. I haven't driven the Z4 yet, but I've driven the Supra, which is based on the Z4. It looks nice, but I have to say the Supra looks better. Another lounge area. So this has to be the nicest BMW dealership that I've been in. So over here is where you choose the the, the leather. If you want to have your car customized. And over here, um, your paint options. 